Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niron here and today it is time for episode number 2 of the FIFA 16 show and this is of course the series where I bring you weekly updates and news concerning FIFA 16, the game coming out at the end of September. I've been doing this series for the last two years and you guys absolutely smashed the first episode over 75 likes I think or over 70 likes certainly on that first episode so if you could smash 50 likes yet again on this episode that would be absolutely awesome but last episode of course I brought you the stuff concerning women's national teams the E3 trailer uh, and also rumors about backroom staff being implemented into career mode today uh, it's a bit more of a quiet week there isn't absolutely explosive stuff like trailers but, but I think there might be a few new trailers actually if there are any then I'll link uh, yeah I'll leave a link to them in the description below but what we're gonna be talking about today are a lot of fair small things but they're things that may not have been posted around quite as much because they're not as they're not quite as explosively uh, like sort of eye-opening as trailers and the such like and new features but what the first thing that we're talking about today is the FIFA 16 closed beta has been announced and that will be starting on the August on August the 13th um, Unfortunately, I didn't get one, so I can't bring you any videos concerning that, but when some screenshots and stuff do get leaked and some information about that, uh, and so yeah, some information about that beta do get leaked, you'll be hearing it on this series, uh, the episode after that happens. But yeah, the beta, starting on August the 13th, you'll have had an email about it already if you've been invited to go up to do it, so you don't have to go along anywhere, but I think you get sent a, a closed beta code or something, I'm assuming. You log in, do all your shenanigans, and yeah, it's basically people who are rewarded for being active on forums, for being on Ultimate Team for a long time, playing lots of games, I think, and just flat out spending a lot of time on the game in general. But there was, of course, moving on to the next piece of news, there was a bit of a vote posters on uh, who should be on the cover of FIFA 16, on the UK cover of FIFA 16, along with Lionel Messi, who was the worldwide cover star. Surprise, surprise. And it was actually Jordan Henderson who won the vote. I think, was it hosted by Foothead? I can't remember. It was it was hosted by someone announced on Foothead. Jordan Henderson won the vote in the end. Harry Kane was the other person who was likely to get on the front. But in the end, it was Jordan Henderson who won. Um, slightly surprising. I'm a Liverpool fan, so you'd expect me to be biased. I'm not one of those biased, like, football fans. I'll always try and stay relatively impartial. Um, but I genuinely don't think Jordan Henderson should have been on the UK cover. I think it should have been Harry Kane after the season that he's had. Jordan Henderson, yes, had a good season. He's now the captain of Liverpool, but... Liverpool had a pretty mediocre season and he wasn't as good as he was last year but anyway Jordan Henderson the main part is Jordan Henderson is on the UK cover I think it should be Harry Kane who do you think it should have been on the UK cover a lot of people saying it should have been Eden Hazard as well even though he's not British but of course plays for a British team so drop that in the comments section below who do you think should have been on the UK cover a few other cover stars been announced as well this week Shinji Kagawa is going to be on the Japan cover Juan Cuadrado is going to be on the Latin America cover. I'm assuming that means South America and Mexico. Is that Latin America or is it Latin America just Southern America? I think Latin America is Southern America plus like Guatemala and Mexico. And that's beyond the point, but still. He's on the Latin America cover. Oscar is going to be on the Brazilian cover because, of course, there's no Brazilian league anymore. So you can't have anyone from the Brazilian league, which is stupid. But that was last year's news. I'm not going to go on a rant about that. Uh, but the other main thing, obviously apart from Messi being the main cover star, as I mentioned earlier, Alex Morgan is going to be on the US cover. Now, if you don't know who she is, she's obviously a very, very famous American female uh, footballer from the women's national teams. Now, of course, there was the, the whole thing with women's national teams being in the game, but Alex Morgan, I think she's the captain of the US women's national team, not entirely sure. But she is on the cover, so that's that's actually very, very cool. A lot of people were saying, like, putting it down and saying it should have been Clint Dempsey. But I, I like the change. I like the fact that they didn't feel as if they had to put Clint Dempsey on it again. And they've gone for Alex Morgan. It's nice, it's different, and it sort of goes along with the whole theme of bringing women's national teams into the game. Another small thing, as you would expect, Real Madrid have been partnered, officially partnered for the game, which means all their players get, uh, like, realistic head scans and such, like, not really big news, we sort of knew that sort of thing was going to happen, it's only big news when it comes to the sort of, the smaller teams, really, like, when the whole BPL got it last year, but Real Madrid are official partners, and finally, Legends, uh, you know Legends, obviously, like, Vieira, whatnot, on Ultimate Team, they've been Xbox exclusive on the last few games, 
and they are Xbox exclusive yet again. They are exclusive, I think, to Xbox One. So I'm not even sure you can get them on Xbox 360, but I would assume, given they're, not, they're on Xbox One, you can get them on Xbox 360 as well. I'm not entirely sure. I should know that. I should know that. It said on the website they were exclusive. Said on, sorry, it says on the, uh, the game cover they're exclusive to Xbox One. So I'm not entirely sure. They might just be exclusive to Xbox One. But again, no parity between, or yeah, no no sort of equality between consoles yet again. And you PlayStation guys, unfortunately, are going to be missing out on Legends yet again. But that is pretty much the end of the news for this week. I know it's been slightly shorter. There's been lots of different pieces of news, lots of small nuggets of information this week. Hopefully next week we'll get some big news, hopefully concerning like pro clubs or career mode, or even some ultimate team news. Any news, of course, is welcomed, and hopefully you will uh, see it next episode first before anyone else. That's unlikely, but still, hopefully you will see it first before anyone else. If you did enjoy this episode, though, of the FIFA 16 show, feel free to leave a like. Uh, 50 likes hit again would be absolutely awesome. Subscribe if you are new around around here for FIFA 15 and F1 2015 content and uh, leave a comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much as well as your thoughts on the news from this week who do you think should have been on the UK cover uh, do you think it's good that Alex Morgan is on the US cover and what are your opinions on Legends being Xbox One exclusive yet again but it has been a pleasure ranting at you guys today have a good day enjoy yourselves and goodbye